Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Moving up day is always a day of rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Parents, visitors, welcome to the first moving up of Bagong Silang High School. At this juncture, we would like to request everyone to join us for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem followed by our invocation our Region 12 hymn, and the General Santos City hymn.
scriptures, Lord, that knowledge and wisdom be unto them. Keep their mind and body, Lord, as healthy as can be. Give us strength and courage and sustain our passion for our countrymen. Above all, Lord, we thank you. For the graces and guidance you bestowed on us Every intentions that we have prayed Every song that we have sung Ang 
ang pinya at mga saging Ngayon lahat ay may munawan Kristiyan at Muslim, Tibuli at Laan Sa ating lungsod na kong tawawag Ay General Santos City Parents, visitors, guests, and completers, once again, good day! It is always a pleasure to have families and friends of BSHS watching or listening our live broadcast for today. Welcoming you for this event is especially meaningful as we honor our completers and celebrate their achievements. And to formally open and give us the words of welcome, it is our privilege to introduce to you our excellent student, Gracie C. B. Bantan. Yeh Lafus, Tower School's Division Superintendent Ceremelito G. Flores, CISO 5, Assistant School's Division Superintendent Dr. Carlos G. Susarno, South Fatima Principal in Charge, Sir Eddie H. Atay, School Principal, Sir Ronald T. Visaya, School Teachers in Charge, Sir Dexter L. Tejedor, Guest Speaker, Teachers, Parents, Students, and Listeners. Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Morning. It is our utmost joy and pride to welcome all of you in this ceremony. We are grateful for this big milestone in our school as we celebrate this first batch of moving up ceremony. Once again, on behalf of the grade 10 completers of Bagong Silang High School, class 2020-2021, I welcome you to our moving up ceremony. Do celebrate this day with us despite of the challenges that we're facing due to the pandemic. Thank you and stay safe. Good morning, you love us back there. Thank you for that warm welcome, Gracie C. Despite the difficulties and trials in life, completing the required 213 school days was never a blockade for the 16 students to pursue in completing the grade level requirements. And now, here they are with smiles on their faces, very excited to get their certificates. And so, without further ado, let us hear from Sir Dexter L. Tihidor, our school's teacher in charge, to present the candidates for moving up to our school's division superintendent, Sir Romilito G. Flores, SESO 5. To the school's division superintendent, Sir Romilito G. Flores, SESO 5, may I present to you the seven boys and nine girls with a total of 16 grade 10 completers of Bagong Silang High School for the school year 2020-2021 who have satisfactorily completed the basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education for your confirmation. By virtue of the power and the authority vested upon me by the Secretary of the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, and based on the certification of your school principal that you have satisfactorily completed the curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education, I, Romilito Guanzon Flores, Schools Division Superintendent, of the Department of Education, General Santos City, hereby accept and confirm your moving up. As a proof of this, you shall now receive your certificate of completion. Congratulations, everyone, and mabuhay kayong lahat.
Warmest greetings to you, completers of Batch 2021. And my felicitations on your moving up ceremony. I congratulate you on a job well done, along with your parents, teachers, school administrators, community leaders, and everyone else present today. You have accomplished and conquered the challenges of basic education despite these trying times. And now you are ready to take on new ones. I am certain that your time here has turned you into mature, resilient young men and women equipped to face the next stage of your lives. I know that moments like this, moving up ceremonies, are very important opportunities for you, completers, as this marks the milestones of your education journey. May these occasions motivate you to study harder, to achieve your goals and dreams in life. Life can present to you with challenges on a regular basis, but you must persevere. As an advice, when you advance to the next stage of your education, use this as an opportunity to reflect on and treasure your previous learning experiences from which you can gain strength and trust to overcome any obstacles that may or might arise. The experience, skills, and most importantly, the values you have acquired over time can motivate you to become better learners. The principles and life skills you have developed thus far will serve as foundations to help you navigate through yet another series of unknown twists and turns. Never give up. The next stage of learning opens a whole new world of possibilities. Continue to aim for the best and educate yourself with useful knowledge as you progress toward your life goals. The theme, Kalidad na Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia, can be achieved through the collaboration of everyone, learners, teachers, administrators, parents, and the community have essential roles to strengthen quality education amidst this pandemic. Together, we will overcome this health crisis and rise victorious. To the people behind our public elementary and secondary schools, let me extend my sincerest thanks for your love for education. Providing our learners with the opportunity for learning is like paving their way to a brighter future. Thank you for being one with the Department of Education in realizing the dream of inclusive education, especially now that we are facing this pandemic. To the proud parents, I also congratulate you because of your unrelenting support and care for these young learners. Without you, this would not be possible. It is in these moments that you should allow yourselves to bask in the triumph and share the success of your children. Let me end this message with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt that says, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dear learners, take hold of your aspirations and have faith in them. Never give up because if you believe, you can definitely achieve. Once again, congratulations and God bless Amping Kanonay. Thank you so much for that inspiring and brilliant message, Sir Romel G. Flores Sassofide. That was the presentation of candidates for moving up. A round of applause to our completers, the batch 2020-2021 of Bagong Silang High School. Congratulations! Dear completers, the moment you have been waiting for has finally come. The fruit of hard work and discipline will finally be reaped. 
you will now be receiving your certificates and awards, the symbol of your hard work and accomplishment. Ladies and gentlemen, the awarding of certificates to the completers of Bagong Silang High School. Bantal Wender A. Bantan John Paul K. Dasan Ken Ken K. Kitai Abner G. Sam Garland S. Tahai Janre G. Tanggal Alex S. Antang Anje A. Antang Julisa B. Atil Angela S. Bantal Gracie C. B. Cook Jillet with honors. Lambot LC A Limbong Genli A Mihing Joralin S Sukal Disney U That concludes the awarding of certificates for the completers. At this point, let us hear a message from the Philippine Secretary of Education, Ma'am Leonor Magtolis Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents you family members, you who are in the households of our learners, have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day, wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. 
So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers,
from the officials in local government as well as in the parent teachers associations you deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back each hug virtually of course and each greeting which i am sure you are also receiving virtually i don't know if uh, you will remember this event many many years from now i have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when i finished high school and when i finished uh, my college studies all i remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message what was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day when i was a college student we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college we would spend one whole day going around the campus visiting the classrooms saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our memories we would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other we had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to god and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world so many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise nonetheless i will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what i see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall i have said that you are very special you are very different you are pioneering there has been no other class like your class there has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge for further answering and looking for explanations of issues events that are that make you curious especially in science in technology and also uh, in the arts so you can work you can go to further uh, studies and perhaps some of you will settle down uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today this is why 
we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise it's not the end of our studies it's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning with modules with floods with earthquakes and of course with covid it's a commencement of doors opening to you more doors will be open because you are a graduate you can work you can proceed for further studies you can help your parents and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work whether at advanced studies whether at learning more in science in technology in mathematics and in the arts all of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened i hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges congratulations once more to each and every one of you congratulations to you parents and family members congratulations to you teachers when i was chair of the board of siliman university each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself i would cry i would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate we want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open and so we tell you go out to the world do whatever you want to do god be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you congratulations Thank you so much, Secretary of Education, Leonor Mirasol Magtoles Briones. That was indeed a meaningful and insightful speech. According to Albert Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. To hear more inspirational message and words of wisdom, let us hear a message from our special guest for this event. To tell us more about our keynote speaker for today, let us call Sir Dexter L. Tijidor to introduce our guest speaker. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor and privilege to introduce to you our speaker for this morning. He is a pure-blooded Tebuli, born in October 24, 1993. He graduated his bachelor's degree last December 2015 in Mindanao State University, General Santo City, taking up bachelor in science, major in mathematics. He also completed his academic requirement in Master of Arts major in Mathematics at Holy Trinity College. He is currently teaching at Lusuk Integrated School, Division of South Cotabato, as a senior high school advisor. Please help me welcome our guest speaker, Sir Elmo B. Jata Jr.
the school's division superintendent, Sir Romilito G. Flores, assistant school's division superintendent, Sir Carlos Susarno, CID Chief, Ma'am Juliet Lastimosa, SGOD, Sir Victorino Fuentes, Barangay Captain of Barangay San Jose, General Santo City, Sir Abdul Rahim Paidomama, PTA President, Abel Bisagi, Mother School Main Principal, Sir Ronald T. Visaya, Bagong Silang High School Teacher in Charge, my college friend and compare, Sir Dexter L. Taylor, Magandang Jensan, and here kira bekam tuha, amin bekam nga graduate be grade 10 kam daw ni, amin and bekam maestra tam dok be bagong silang high school. Para bekam tuha, doon ni kira ni celebrate yung kuy nga graduate be grade 10. Amin and bud yul has fila, be cool sunod pangarap be klawin. Be yul at agad yohan, sok na daw graduate be grade 10. All yul has no porta, Para ba isunod ka, one cool kandangan. One cool kandangan ba utak para la graduate la aling ko kam tao. Kay mon le, le kam nga tabali daw la graduate one ton ngin. Para ba kam nga graduate pa grade 10 kam daw ni? Hol yu swila. Ba yu tagad niya han. Continue yu pangarap ko. Ba yu snayang suporta kam tuhayo bila yu. Ba yu kakoy ka graduate ba kam daw ni? Sa inyong pagtatapos sa junior high school dito sa Bagong Silang High School ngayong taong 2021 ay ito ang bunga ng inyong pagsisikap sa pag-aaral. Sa kabila ng pandemyang kinakaharap ng ating mundo ngayon dahil sa COVID-19. Ngunit sa inyong pagpursigi o para makapagtapos ay hindi adlang kung kahit anumang sakuna o para maabot nyo inyong pangarap sa buhay. Sa araw ng inyong pagtatapos sa junior high school, ito ay simula pa lang upang ipagpatuloy ang inyong pangarap sa tulong ng inyong mga magulang, kapatid, kapamilya upang magabay sa inyong pag-aaral. If you keep your faith in God, in yourself, and if you stay in love in what you do best, then amazing things will come in your way. If you plan to fail, you fail to plan. To the completer class of 2021, congratulations and mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, Sir Elmo. That was indeed a significant and inspiring message. At this point, let us hear the words of gratitude from our grade 10 students, Gillette B. Cook. It will be followed by the Pledge of Loyalty. Sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral ng bagong silang high school, sa aming mga magulang, sa mga butihing guro, sa aming school teachers in charge, Sir Dexter L. Tejidor, aming punong guro, Sir Ronald T. Visaya, PSDS Dr. Eddie H. Atay, at sa ating napakabuti at supportive na schools division sa parentendent, Romelito G. Flores Ceso 5. Isang napakagandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Hiu Kraube Kreyo. Nagpapasalamat po ako sapagkat ako'y binigyan ng pagkakataon na makapagsalita at may pahayag ang nilalaman ng aking damdamin. Batid nating lahat na hindi gaanong kaaya-aya ang ating sitwasyon sa pag-aaral ngayong taon. Dahil sa pandemyang ating kinakaharap, pandemyang kumuha ng buhay, nagdulot ng di kaaya-aya ang karamdaman at higit sa lahat ay bumago ng sistema na pag-aaral na ating kinagisnan. Ngunit batid kung lahat ng ito ay pawang pagsubok lamang, lahat ng ito ay may katapusan, lahat ng mapapait na ating naranasan, mga problema ay may hangganan at solusyon. Sa aking mga kamag-aral, kakilala at mga kaibigan, kailan pa ba tayo susuko? Kailangan ba nating sumuko? Huminto? Tumigil upang maibsan ang sakit na dulot ng ating sitwasyon? O kailangan nating lumaban upang makamit ang ating mga ninanais na mitiin sa buhay? Malaki na ang ating iginugol sa pag-aaral. 
marami na ang pagsubok na ating naranasan at batid kung batid nyo din na sabay-sabay natin itong nalabanan at nalampasan. At eto tayo ngayon magbubunyi sa pagtatapos bilang grade 10. Ito na ang bunga ng ating pagsisikap. Magpasa hanggang ngayon ay hindi ko pa din nalilimutan ang lahat ng mga karanasan natin sa pag-aaral. Mula sa ating karanasan sa ating silid aralang walang bubong, ang covered court, na halos ba sa ating mga gamit tuwing tayo ay inuulan. Sa mga kamag-aral kung naglalakad ng ilang kilometro, maipagpatuloy lang ang pag-aaral at higit sa lahat ay ang ating karanasan sa kahirapan na batid kung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo ay gusto nang huminto at sumuko. Ngunit, Kahit mahirap ay hindi tayo sumuko, hindi ako sumuko sapagkat naniniwala ako na hindi sapat na dahilan ang kahirapan upang sumuko. Naniniwala ako na sa pamamagitan ng sipag, sikap at syaga ay makakamtan din natin ang ating mga pangarap. Bilang mag-aaral, gusto kong makapagtapos ng pag-aaral upang makatulong sa aking mga magulang at maibsan ang aming paghihirap. Naniniwala ako na sa pamamagitan ng edukasyon ay masosolusyonan ko ang aming paghihirap. Balang araw ay gusto ko ding maging isang guru upang makatulong sa kapwa. Gusto kong maging inspirasyon at instrumento para sa mga kabataan upang sila ay matutong magsulat at magbasa para sa pagdating ng panahon sila din ay makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Nagpapasalamat ako sa aking mga magulang, sa aking mama at papa na naging inspirasyon ko sa pag-aaral. Gayun din sa aking mga guru, Sir Eran, Ma'am Jaisel, at Sir Dexter na walang sawang pagbibigay ng mga payo at motivation. Gayun din sa aking mga kamag-aral at kaibigan na kasama ko sa lungkot, pait at pighati sa pag-aaral. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sapagkat kung hindi dahil sa inyo ay wala akong makakasamang harapin ang mga pagsubok na may ngiti at tuwa. Alam kong ito ay hindi katapusan ng ating mga pangarap, datapwat ay simula pa lamang, naway patuloy nating harapin ang lahat ng mga pagsubok sa pag-aaral, huwag tayong sumuko, sabay nating harapin ang mga pagsubok sa pag-aaral, naway balang araw ay mapagtagumpayan natin ito sapagkat ako ay naniniwala sa kasabihang ang edukasyon ay susi upang tayo ay magtagumpay. Higit sa lahat, ako ay nagpapasalamat sa puong may kapal, ang Panginoon, sapagkat ang lahat ng ito ay hindi may sasakatuparan kundi dahil sa Panginoon na siyang may likha ng lahat. Yan lang po, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Bong Slamat de Kreen. Fellow completers, please raise your right hand and let us recite the Pledge of Loyalty. We, the Great and Completers of Bagong Silang High School, Class of 2020-2021, do solemnly pledge our loyalty to our alma mater. We pledge faith and commitment to the great virtues and high principles for which we stand. We pledge to maintain its honor throughout our lives. We pledge to be admirable examples to our fellow men in truth and knowledge imported to us. We devote our lives and impose ourselves willingly without mental reservations. The duties and obligations to the noble task of rendering service and honor to God, helping our parents and serving as responsible members in our communities. We pledge to be good BSHCians to maintain the honor and dignity of our alma mater. So help us God. Thank you, Gillette, for that wonderful Thanksgiving message and for leading the Pledge of Loyalty. And of course, thank you, completers, for that Pledge of Loyalty. May you do and practice that pledge together with sincerity Love and respect. Music 
is the expression of the soul. It moves emotions and feels with the movement of time. Through a song that emphasizes the strength amidst challenges, let us hear the completer's moving up song, Follow Your Dreams. For the acknowledgement and to express the love and support for our batch 2020-2021, let us hear a message from our brilliant and ever-supportive school head, Ronald T. Visaya. Sibol, Bagong Silang High School, Subida, South Fatima. 
sa ating Schools Division Superintendent Romilito G. Flores, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Carlos G. Susarno, Principals in Charge, Dr. Eddie H. Atay, Teacher in Charge, Dexter Lumapat Tejedor, School Head of Bagong Silang Elementary, Robert Pasyon, sa ating Purok Chairman, at the same time PTA President Abel B. Sagi, mga guru, mga magulang, ladies and gentlemen, isang mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. You flappus bikadem. Isang mahabang apat na taon ang nakalipas. At ngayon, tayo ay nandito na at naidaos na ang ating pagtatapos. Tayo ay samasamang nagtaguyod para malampasan ang hamong, hamong ito. Lalo na sa huling bahagi na sama-sama nating hinarap ang pandemyang COVID-19. Hindi natin ito nagawa kung tayo-tayo lang ang gagawa ng mga ito. Gusto kong ibigay ang taus-pusong pasasalamat sa mga sumusunod na mga tao. Sa ating mga guro, sina Dexter Lumapat, Tejidor, Sir Eran J. Fernandez, Ma'am Jaisel Crisostomo at ang mga nagdaang teachers Sir Junaiden at namayapang Sir Democrito Baikin Salamat sa inyong pagbabahagi ng oras talento at kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral Alam natin na trabaho natin ang pagbibigay ng mga ito pero ito ay inyong ginawa Lampas pa sa inaakala nating oras at trabaho. Binigay ninyo ang inyong buong husay upang maipasa ang pambihirang kaalaman sa mga IP learners ng bagong silang at mga karatig purok nito. Sa dating punong guro ng bagong silang elementary school, Sir Franklin Martinez, Kasama ng kanyang mga guru na nagpahiram ng mga classroom sa loob ng apat na taon. Kung hindi dahil sa inyo ay walang masisilungang silid-aralan ang ating mga kabataan sa high school. Sa Friends of Hope Foundation na nagbigay ng pag-asa na sa wakas ay magkakaroon na ng pinakaunang silid-aralan ang ating mga kabataan. Sa Lao Construction na siyang tumulong para maisaayos ang lokasyon ng paaralan upang maging ligtas sa anumang sakuna, lalong-lalo na ang baha. Sa ating mga magulang, Bikidiye kum yene, mayem kum nga manyagin niye, yomundi baliyu, laki gibak ni si hudu. Yom ti blayo ti beng bikem ngayom nyagi. Yom ti glayom yubigem ngayo aniye ulo liem nyagi. Yom tay blayo ti beng malam biem gisig gikes gulo yem manser de yem komujul kem ngayo. Hol handless. Ko yom na mo kote yo aniya tilob yam lang binwokon mo lang binwokom tibuli. Kay sek na mo kay tilob ni aniyangit para biyam kong tumurol nga tibuli bi bagong silang. Tay bong salamat bikadem. Higit sa lahat sa poong may kapal na siyang nagbigay ng lahat ng biyaya sa mga mag-aaral, lalo na ang regalo ng buhay at kaalaman. 
Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyong lahat. Pagpalain po tayo ng kung may kapal at mabuhay ang bagong silang high school. Thank you so much, Sir Ronald. That was very touching. Thank you for inspiring us and for the continuous love and support you render to our school, the Bagong Silang High School. Congratulations to our completers of Batch 2020-2021. We are all proud of you. You worked hard, you succeeded, and now you should celebrate. This day signifies a new beginning for each and every one of you. The closing hour has finally arrived. Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await our completers that will further test their bravery as improving individuals. As they continue with their journey, may they look back to this stage in their life with fondness and pride. That ends the first moving up ceremony of Bagong Silang High School. I am Iron Joy Fernandez. And I am Jaisal Crisostomo de los Santos. Enjoy your day of celebration with your family and friends. Thank you. Good luck, God bless, and once again...
it's hard to say if you can stick to your desire. Never lose the fire that burns up light inside. For you to win the fight, you tell yourself to achieve, you must not retreat. Cause if this talk can be tough, if you must compete, learning the path of faith by every road.